This is the speech of the year. If you think that's surprising, wait till you get a load of this. It's from a Republican. It's in the Washington State Legislature. Uh, her name is Representative Maureen Walsh. They are discussing uh, whether gay marriage should be allowed in the state of Washington. And she is going to break ranks with the other Republicans uh, and vote in favor of gay marriage. And she's going to tell a personal story about why. So don't miss this. Watch. I have allowed my heart and my mind to guide me in decisions that I've made on a lot of different issues that have been before us in the legislature. And I think sometimes that's what we have to do. And I, I too don't want to wag my finger at anybody about which way you should vote on this. It's certainly an issue of conscience to me and certainly one that is, I have been weighing very heavily for the last few weeks. Um, you know, I was married for 23 years to the love of my life and uh, he died six years ago. And you know, I'm, an, I'm a lonely old widow right now. I'm 51 years old looking for a boyfriend, not having much luck with that. And yet, when I think of my husband, and I think of all the wonderful years we had, and the wonderful fringe benefit of having three beautiful children, I, I don't miss the sex, you know? That, and to me, that's kind of what this boils down to. It, I don't miss that. I mean, I, I certainly miss it, but I don't, it's not, it's, <laughs> It's, it is certainly not the aspect of that relationship, that incredible bond that I had with that human being that I really, really genuinely wish I still had. And, and so I just, I think to myself, how could I deny anyone the right to have that incredible bond with another individual in life? To me, it seems almost cruel. You know, years ago, my daughter went to, she was in elementary school. She's, you got, many of you have met my daughter. She's a fabulous girl. She's wonderful. My boys are great too, but my daughter is just something special. And she was the light of her father's eyes. And she went to school and there were some kids that were, a whole group of kids, just picking on another kid. And you know, my daughter stood up for that kid even though it wasn't the popular thing to do, she knew it was the right thing to do. And I am, was never more proud of my kid than knowing that she was speaking against the vocal majority on behalf of the rights of the minority. And to me, it is incumbent upon us as legislators in this state to do that. That is why we are here. And I shudder to think that if folks who have preceded us in history did not do that, frankly, I'm not sure I would be here as a woman. I'm not sure other people would be here due to their race or their creed. And to me, that is what's disconcerting. And someone made the comment that this is not about equality. Well, yes, it is about equality. And why in the world would we not allow those equal rights for individuals who truly were committed to one another in life to be able to, to show that by way of a marriage? My daughter came out of the closet a couple of years ago. And you know what? I thought I was just going to agonize about that. Nothing's different. She's still a fabulous human being and she's met a person that she loves very much. And someday, by God, I want to throw a wedding for that kid. And I hope that's exactly what I can do. I hope she will not feel like a second-class citizen involved in something called a domestic partnership, which frankly sounds like a Mary Maids franchise to me. Here are the reasons that I love that speech. Uh, first of all, the raw honesty was fantastic. I, I don't miss the sex. Come on, how funny was that? But it endeared you to her immediately that she's not, you know, trying to do some fancy political speech where she's working a talking point. It was clear that she was speaking from the heart. And then the points she hit were fantastic. How can I deny anyone uh, the ability to have that kind of deep loving relationship that I had? That's so true, and it gets to the essence of the issue. 
She says, don't tell me they wouldn't be second class citizens. Of course they are if you're calling it something else and you're not giving them the same rights. And she said, who are we kidding when we say it's not about equality? Obviously it's about equality. That's what the whole issue is. If they had equality in terms of the law, the name, etc., then it wouldn't be an issue. It's obviously uh, the core of the problem. And I loved when she said, I'm not sure I would be here. And remember, she's a Republican there, but she is a woman. She's like, I'm not sure I would be here if other people didn't fight for my equality and all of our equality, and so many others of you were based on race, creed, etc. And then, I mean, come on, when she said that her daughter was the light of her father's eyes, I mean, that, uh, that would just spoke uh, volumes to me. And if you got a daughter, you got a son, you got kids, and you know how valuable they are to you and how much you love them, and then some people want to deny them the same rights to a loving relationship that other people have in this country, it isn't right. And, uh, and I love her for uh, pointing that out. Listen, uh, I, the Republicans are having trouble uh, fielding a candidate. Uh, right now they're in the middle of CPAC, this large conservative gathering, and they say they're dissatisfied with all their candidates. It might go all the way to a brokered convention where they might pick someone else entirely. I nominate Representative Maureen Walsh. <laughs> now she's a legislator in Washington, and that's not likely to happen. But, uh, but God, that was a great speech, and it was great to hear someone actually giving a genuine, heartfelt uh, you know, talk uh, in politics when it, everything else is so scripted and so down to the talking points that it's grating on everybody's nerves. And I hope she got through to some people uh, now, among the Republicans, she was only one of two people who crossed ranks, so I'm not sure how much it did get through. But at least the bill passed 55 to 43, and the governor of Washington says that she will sign the bill, so you will have marriage equality in Washington. And that's a great thing, and I want to thank Representative Maureen Walsh for helping to make that happen.